Everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Gracie and I want to welcome you back. She's over here. I don't know if you can see her. How cute she's on my foot. You probably can't see her. Anyway, um, maybe maybe she'll make an appearance. She's my little Bichon poodle. She's so cute. Now I tell you, she's just so sweet. I have to be honest. I opened this because it is Christmas time, and I've been getting packages, um, you know, for different family members. And I thought this was possibly one of them. I totally put it out of my head that this was coming because it came right before Thanksgiving and I do a lot of cooking. So I opened it in a hurry and I was like, oh, and then I remembered. So I did not open the box inside. So just open this. And this comes from a company called Lakato. I have done a few unboxings for them. I believe two. I did one where you can plug in wirelessly a guitar, but I use different instruments. So a, a receiver and a transmitter, that's kind of, that was kind of cool. And you can find that on my channel. And then I also did one for their little metronome and I think it was a, a, a tuner as well. It had all sorts of different gadgets um, and that was in the summer time. <laughs> I hope you can see this. She just uses my leg to rest on, you know, she's just, having fun. Oh God, I love this dog. Anyway, so let's get to the goodies. It's very tiny and I'm not even quite sure how this is going to work because I've never owned one of these. So this is called a pocket guitar amp. Can you imagine that? Look how tiny this is. This is about the size of sometimes you get those um, battery bricks, you know, to charge your phone. I'm, I'm amazed. So let's open it up. And okay, it's by Lakato. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, there is a pretty hefty manual, so I may have to stop this after. I will have to stop it after and you know read it and figure out how this works. Um, I'm not sure what that is, that little sticker, but I'll put it back with the manual. And let's open up the rest of this box. Okay, so you get some kind of charging plug, it looks like, or maybe it's a micro, oh, no, it's USB-C. No, I can't tell. I think it's a USB, no, 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 no. It's either USB-C or micro, can't really tell. But I will know after, again. Uh, it also has um, a little eighth inch jack which looks to be stereo. 
although it's got three rings, so I have no clue. I'll look at that up also in the instructions. And here's another one with a USB. And again, I think it's micro. Yeah, that's definitely a micro one. Let's see if I can tell in the light here. Yeah, that's probably micro as well. And then you get this very, very lightweight, um, rectangular device that you plug into your guitar and it says on off but then above it there's a left arrow and then the next one says store and there's another arrow above that a right arrow and I believe if you press both of them it says edit because there's edit in between them and then the next set of buttons says bypass on the bottom and tuner on the next button and above each of them, above bypasses is a negative sign and um, above the, the tuner is a positive. Okay, a plus or minus, a minus and plus. And it says Lakato, and then it says auto. I don't know what that says, it's kind of dark. Oh, gain, auto, gain. And what the hell? With a flashlight. Okay. It says auto, gain, tone, mod. No clue. I really can't read it in this light. Gain tone, gain mod. I don't even. My phone is is the doing the video, so I don't know what it says. Oh Lord, I need light. My favorite light. Okay, there are a lot of tiny things written here and I, for the life of me, cannot see it in this light. So I will absolutely turn on my light, overhead light, and I will try to read what the left, rest of them say after tone. Uh, no clue. I'm not even sure how this works, honestly. I hope this is not complicated. A lot of menu diving here. Uh, the point of this is that you're supposed to be able to plug, I thought it was simply plug and play. You're simply supposed to be able to plug this into your acoustic guitar and put headphones and be able to hear yourself with different sounds like prob probably amps, cabinets, maybe different types of effects. Um, not really sure. I guess you have to charge it. I'm going to have to look that up. Probably have to charge it. And maybe you can download or upload different sounds for the other one because it's two different ones. And I'm wondering, how will you hear this? So I guess instead of headphones, maybe I can do, obviously this could be a line out and I can put this into my recording device so that you can actually hear what I would normally hear. I think that's the way I have to do it. So I'm going to shut this off and disturb my little Gracie who's having the time of her life. I don't know if you could see this. You probably can't because it's a little low. But she's having the time of her life chewing on her little uh, Nyla bone keys or something. What are they? What are they? Look at these big keys for this little dog. How did I get you such big keys, huh? Urgh. She loves them. She's a chewer, this one. My little Bailey wasn't a chewer. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Be well. I'm going to come back and I will um, try to describe what all of these little tiny buttons or words say because they're not buttons. I'm assuming they're lights. Like probably when you press one of these, one of these lights would, you know, it would affect which one. And depending on which one's lit, that's what you're changing with these buttons. I will look at the instructions. I'm very tired after working. So I hope 
that it's not too complicated, that it's something easy because you just want to pick up your guitar, plug it in and play. I'm sure you don't want to start reading um, a lot of complicated configuration. So let's just hope that I can come back and report back to you that it was really simple and let you hear what I'm going to hear in my headphones. Okay, stay tuned everybody and thank you. Thank you. I started to read this. My dog got to it. <laughs> Before I came in here, because remember the bell rang. I don't know if I have that still on the video, but the bell rang. I went to get the bell, and by the time I came back, she had this in her mouth, and I would have really been in trouble. <laughs> I didn't realize it. So, but had she not bit it up and it looked like this, I have to be honest, it would still look like this. And it's really, well, that's in a different language, but it's really tiny. I wish, they, I don't know, maybe they have one online where I can enlarge it. I do like a paper manual. Sorry, trees, but I do like it because then I can bring it wherever I go and try to understand it. So, you know, I may have to do something like this to read it because look how, look how tiny that is. So I'm going to charge this. By the way, I found out that that's what this says on the back. There's more, I mean, brown on black is, is a bad idea. Okay. So they should have white maybe or something. Um, so one is the charge. This is this one. And the other one says, I still can't read what it says. Phone. And I'm in the kitchen with light. I'm right under light. I can't see it. Okay, there. What does that say? Mobile. Okay, so folks, what I've done is I'm using my Spire Studio to connect this pocket amp so that I can record the sound. This is the only way that you'll hear what I hear in the headphones is if I do it this way. Um, there is a way that they said using, you know, this little port here and they have, they give you a, a little white jack with what's called a TR. RS, so it records, it's a microphone and a headphone at the same time. And that would be if you wanted to do it through the headphone jack, which I think it would work in something like this, but I personally don't think that's going to give you as good a quality there. There's a head, I do have a headphone jack on this um, iPad, but at this point, I think a better quality for me would just be to plug it this instead of into headphones, just right into my Spider Studio. I'm using this. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'm going to turn it on. I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, where's the on button? Okay, so here's the on button right here. You hold it down. Ooh, I definitely heard that in my headphones. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty lights. Okay, and... Uh, I don't want to have any feedback, so I'm going to take this volume of the headphones down. I don't hear anything yet because it's not plugged in yet. So when I plug this into the guitar, I should be able to hear it in my headphones, which is with my headphones are plugged into here, in front of this, the Spire Studio. Um, I'm, it's a little awkward for me because once I plug this into my guitar, I can't see it anymore. So I would have to... I guess take it out in order to I don't let's see how this is going to work um I'm going to plug it into my guitar and hope that it doesn't hurt my ears so hopefully it's not that loud I put it low here okay so here you go also um you do press both of those together to go into bluetooth so you can pair right here the lights on so I believe it's paired with my phone should I want to um play along with music that I hear, I suppose, it, it would be able to pair it with your phone, okay? Like maybe backing tracks and stuff, so that might be an option. I could test the waters on that. Right now, I just wanna hear what it's going to sound like when I plug the guitar in, okay? And then we'll have to be sure to hit record so you can hear what I hear. All right, hang on. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus it on here so you can see when I change the preset and what I have to do. And I'll be recording it in the Spire Studio so that you can hear the various presets. Okay, so I'm gonna go preset by preset. 
and just literally strum through each one so you can hear um, the different sounds that come in the box, out of the box, I should say. Obviously with the instruction manual, you could do a lot of tweaking, but it's going to involve a lot of different presses of different buttons to get into the edit mode. And you can add, you know, various parameters or take away various parameters to create like patches, if you will, like on a pedal board, on a multi-effects unit. Because basically that's what this is. You know, you're playing in headphones if you want, in it with a guitar without being plugged into an amp. And that's the cool part. So you have all these effects right in your ear and so you can practice and then eventually you can record it even with this unit. Like this is exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm going to record right into this Spire Studio so you can hear the quality sound that I'm hearing in my headphones. Okay, so let's start. And I'm not a lead guitar player, so I'm literally just going to let you hear what it sounds like. And then you can take it further in your studies. <laughs> Here we go. So what do I think? I think that it's very lightweight 
And I think if you can get past the instructions and just start playing with it, I think you can probably be more intuitive than it felt right off the bat. It was very daunting for me. I don't know if it's just that I'm tired of getting older, but yeah, the instructions were a little daunting. But once I just plugged it in and just everything seemed to work fine. All right, everybody. So that is the Locato uh, pocket amp for you. I think it has a lot of potential. I love the lights. Uh, I like how easy it was to pair everything. You know, I mean, it worked right off the bat. So anyway, yeah, I think I could see some uses for it. I think it'd be a nice way to just quickly record um, if you don't have any pedals around or if you want to fiddle with software because sometimes you just want to plug and play. I can see that being a good use for this. You know, if I wanted to practice my guitar and have different um, effects on it without disturbing anybody, I can do that and also record the same way. I have a dog, a little puppy, and sometimes she might bark or something. If she hears somebody, that might ruin a recording. So you could just do it with this and have all, you know, kind of wah-wah and delay and all sorts of things like that. So thank you, Locato, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. And um, my only suggestion would be like to make it so that you can read the lettering and the writing a little more easily. I don't know how you would do it because you packed a lot into this little profile. So maybe you can just give everybody a magnifying glass <laughs> with each purchase. You know, I'm kidding. And um, also the instruction booklet, maybe. Uh, I'll have to find out if you have a downloadable version. It would be a lot easier than this little tiny one that came with it. But I'm glad you included it because, boy, there's a lot of information. So thank you. Be well. God bless.